Once there lived a fakir in a garden. He had no arms. There were also many mosquitoes in that garden. That fakir used to give his voice to the people coming and going in the garden, bowing his head and asking them for money. A man used to come every day for a walk in the same garden. Once he asked the fakir, "You ask for money, but how do you eat bread?" The fakir said, "When evening comes, I call that baker. Oh friend, come take the money and give the bread." He takes away the begging money and gives the bread. The man asked, "How are you eating without hands?" He said, "I cannot eat myself. I give a voice to those who come and go. Lord, keep your hand safe. Have mercy on me. Feed me bread. I do not have hands." Not everyone listens, but somebody feels pity. That Lord's beloved comes to me. He breaks the morsel and puts it in my mouth, and I eat it. Hearing this, the man's heart was filled. He asked, "How do you drink water?" He told, "If I tilt this pitcher with the help of the leg, then the cup is filled. Then I bow down like an animal and drink water." The man said, "There are many mosquitoes here." What do you do if mosquitoes start biting? He said, "Then I rub the body on the ground. I roll and suffer like a fish out of water." The man said, "Alas, how much misfortune is caused to a person if he does not have only two hands." The fakir said, "O oh friend, do not condemn this body. It is a priceless gem." Every part of the body is so precious that no treasure of the world can afford it. Every part of it is useful. Use them, but also think about what this body is for. Remember that we haven't got these eyes to look for bad things. Ears are not meant to hear the condemnation of others. Hands are not meant to strangle others. This tongue is not meant just to taste the food. Even this mind has not got to drown in ego or get entangled in delusion. We have got these eyes to search for the true Sadguru who will guide us properly to attain God. These hands have been given to serve the living beings only. These feet have been given to walk on the path which leads to the supreme position. These ears have got to hear the message in which the path to attain the supreme position is told. This tongue has been given to sing the praises of the Lord. This mind has got to constantly thank and praise that Lord. In the end, the man asked the fakir, "O oh, my mystic friend, you have given me great knowledge of life. Now I will devote my body to attaining God." Now finally you please tell me one more thing that how can i pray to that god the fakir said oh lord thank you thank you lakhs of thanks to you you have given me such a beautiful body so that i can use it to reach you the fakir said that this is the true prayer My dear brothers and sisters I hope you will definitely learn something from this story How did you feel after listening to this story let me know in the comments Thank you so much Jai Shri Ram Jai Shri Krishna